Hello, everyone. Uh, we are here for the October 18th game night to play an Indie Plus exhibition game of No Country for Old Kobolds. We are here with Steve Wallace, the designer of the game. And before we start, um, just wanted to say that this game will be uh, had in accordance with the Indie Plus community standards. You can see those on our website, indieplus.org. Um, this game includes a frank and unflinching view of kobold existence, including graphic violence against kobolds, sex between kobolds, and racial slurs against kobolds and other fantasy beings. This game has a trigger warning for murder hobos and class struggle and full communism. Uh, I'm Brendan Conway. Uh, I am I'm a lover of kobolds. I've been a lover of kobolds since they kobolds. We had a discussion about how to pronounce that word, and I'm still doing it wrong. Uh, since they ate my baby, um, those were those were good days for kobolds, and so I'm I'm very excited to really delve into the kobold mindset and come to understand the the interesting nuances of their culture. Um, Jen, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Jen from the internet. That's all I got. Sorry. That's that's good. Uh, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark Dias German. I'm one of the organizers for Indie Plus and a uh, lover of all things kobold, including their their fragile little lives. Rich, I'm I'm Rich, and uh, I, I got to say I'm a little more of a fan of orcs, and I'm a little hurt that kobold had a magazine called Kobold Quarterly. Uh, it's had several games. Um, so I just don't know where the country for old orcs is, but hey, I'll do what I can. You had Orc World. You had a whole game that was yours. I, I <laughs> did. I did have Orc World. I did. I did have Orc World. I had two of them. Yeah, I, I will continue to point out that there is no country for old kobolds. So, so come now. They still okay, lack. It's a good point. So you guys the orcs had a whole world. The orcs had a whole world, and kobolds still don't even have a country. That's true. That's true. Okay, I will rest my case. <laughs> Orc <Steve>. privilege. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, and I'm Steve Wallace, the creator of No Country for Old Cobalts. And other things. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So, uh, we're ready to get started. Alright, cool. Um, so, the first thing, um, No Country runs on sort of three levels. There's the village level, which is the, um, the actual main character, if you will, that will actually get XP and that you'll actually advance. Um, and that's shared between all of you. Um, so um, with a Hangout game, one of you can keep track of all the village sheets if you want, or you can all mark it off on a village sheet. It's up to you. Um, but if there's a single village as Mark, yeah. Um, and then there is a unit level, which is um, the level that most combat takes place on. Um, this is sort of a riff on the Inglorious rules that um, Sage and Adam came up with um, that they graciously let me use. Um, and effectively, the units represent everything that's not a kobold. Um, that's not specifically one of the champion player kobolds. Um, there can be... A, your village uh, can generate units for you to use. Um, and normally, a unit of kobolds is a ten other village kobolds, but they're nowhere near as special as you, and they will die very quickly. Um, and then there is champion kobold level, which is the level that all the players are at. Um, and you are all the best and brightest that your village has to offer. Um, and your whole lot in life is to protect your village at all costs. Um, you probably won't last long, but that's okay, because you have a lot of kids, and they will step up to take your place. Um, so we'll start um, by creating the world, and then we'll create your village, and then we'll create your kobolds. Um, so the first thing is everyone has a kingdom card. Um, and basically, these are going to be the kingdoms that surround all of your, uh, uh, that surround your village. Each of you will come up with a, um, uh, a separate kingdom, and we'll go through and talk about them, and... They will be the um, menaces, along with other random murder hobos um, that your village will have to deal with. So um, basically, let's just fill in the blank. We'll come up with kingdom names. 
um, you'll come up with the inhabitants of that kingdom, and that can be anything. It can be, you know, um, those clean elves, the ground grubbing dwarves, um, the humans, because they're everywhere. Um, it can be orcs. Um, they do, in fact, have a land. A whole world effort. Ah. Uh, halflings, uh, they're basically small humans, I think. Um, centaurs, half centaurs, um, anything like that. And then structure is just sort of how your how that kingdom is structured. Is it a monarchy, a meritocracy, a, a democracy, whatever? Um, who their greatest champion is? This is who. Um, the greatest champion of that realm, so it's the uh, the pinnacle of, of that society. And uh, then what do they want from your people? And this is a pressure on your um, kingdom, and it's something I get to use against you. Uh, so they may want um, the gold that's under your village, or they may want your skins because they make fine sales or purses, or they may want um, the magic well water that, uh, that runs under your uh, village, anything like that. All right. So we each do one of these, right? Yeah, you'll each do a separate one. So uh, four surrounding kingdoms, um, and these kingdoms will also be the places that you'll adventure into to um, gather things that your vi village will need. Brilliant. Okay. Um, yeah. Now I have to answer tough questions. I know. Right off the bat. This is difficult. This is hard hitting. Yes. Um, would you, does it make sense to put this in a Google Doc and share it? Uh, we can do that. Yeah, totally. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to create the document. Uh, is it cool if I, I'm just going to create it and I'm going to share it via the link? Um, can hit share. Excuse, is the game master known as the Kobold Czar? Uh, no, but I am known as the Kobold Czar because there's now an Ebola Czar, and I feel like there should be a Kobold Czar. <laughs> there could, because your initials would be KC. Yeah, there you go. The and we yeah. could be the Sunshine Band. <laughs> I haven't written that section, so yes, now that is true. I see what you did there. What's the tone of this game, Steve? Um, it's... It kind of drifts between really black comedy and kind of tragedy. I think um, there's a lot of uh, it, it, there's a lot of black comedy. There's a lot of um, of tragic ends. There are uh, a lot of um, there's not a lot of base heroism. I think, but there's a lot of meaningless death. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of meaningless death. Okay. Thanks. You know, class struggle. Yeah, class struggle. All right, so I put a link to a Google Doc in our chat window, so you should be able to open that up. And I just created a basic kingdom template thing, so you should be able to just fill that sucker out um, for each kingdom. I'm going to take the one at the bottom. Do we have a shareable link that we could throw in for anyone that's watching or later wants to watch on yes. YouTube? Yes. The link I put in the uh, chat is shareable, but it's open to edit. Ah. Which is fine. Just if anybody comes in and looks, don't um, don't um, don't be a jerk. <laughs> cool. Where are we thinking? You know, I, I see so a lot of there's some anonymous. Squirrel is doing a lot of work. What do we, let's talk it out. I see there's some elves. What are some other thoughts? I believe it or not, I think um, there might be orcs. <laughs> not that I have an agenda, which I do. I am going to throw out some some elves. Uh, the kingdom of Marikoth is filled with fanatic elves, and they have a. I think they have a theocracy. They're fanatically elven. They're fanatically elven. Yeah, they're just like the. They're so elf. All elf, wow, like really elf, right? Um, and I think, um, I think they actually enslave us. 
Yeah. Yeah. So they 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 what come and mean? take our they they come and take our people to work in their mines. Their mines. Okay. Where do they mine? Other elves. Uh, I think they mine. Uh. I think they mine these soul stones that come from like under their city, right? That each contain like a single elven, perfect elven memory, right? And they have to, like they like basically the elves like when they die they like they go into this tomb and then the tomb becomes a, like you know a soul stone, but like it takes like you know hundreds of thousands of years and so it's lost and you have to dig them back up, right? Okay. And so they have the but it's really dangerous because the soul stone can like warp you and stuff of until course. it's yeah. until it's, it's like golden oil basically. Yeah, basically, yeah, right. <laughs> Hmm. Trying to think of something awful. Uh, well, I'm going with the horde of Puck the Pugnacious, uh, which is the inhabitants are orcs and yeah, goblins too, but they don't count. <laughs> uh, the structure is like because you have this option, monarchy, but really it's a dictatorship. Because the greatest champion is surprise, surprise, Puck the Pugnacious. <laughs> surprise. Uh, yeah, I think what they want is just exercise. Really, they just roll entertainment. You're just sports. Yeah, it's just skirmish because. Yeah, you're just sport, man. Sport. Uh, I made really the talk. Who is, uh, which is nominated by humans, human farmers specifically. They are democratic. Um, their greatest champion is Wentworth, maker of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what, what they want from us kobolds is dead kobolds make fantastic fertilizer. Oh. Hmm. All right, yeah. Went down a vaguely similar route for that last one, but I think it's okay. Um, I made the great and bounteous hive of Formix. They're ant people. That's right, ant people. Um, they're a hive-based monarchy who are ruled by their queen. And their greatest champion is Clickrit, the greatest Formian warrior who's the size of an elephant. Um, and what do they want from us? Kobold eyeballs make great aphrodisiacs for Formic reproduction. Do we want to maybe change one of these to be like a resource that's nearby our village, but not, not yeah. us? <laughs> yeah, we can we can change. They're kind of they're kind of all the same. Well I would, water I mean, or something. Uh, maybe like a fungus that grows on the walls. Sure. It could be cheese related, Jen. It should be cheese related. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's like yeast. Like yeast spores or something that grow in our caves. Mm. Damn, that sounds tasty. <laughs> Go ball <yeast>. mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking. I just like the idea of a bunch of like otherwise nice humans just murdering kobolds. So they no, I like that they did too. <laughs> I like that. Trying to think of what else Formians would want from the area. Ooh. Maybe they would want some like royal honey or something. So so they use the kobolds to or they, they need honey from the area around the kobolds, like collected from the bees. Symbiotic bees that uh, you, you live with. Oh sure. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So the four means are coming here to collect. <laughs> Everybody our... knows the cobalt reef. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we ride bees. You can be bee riders. Giant bees. That's an option. Yeah, let's go with that. I like that. Four means want I the like royal raised giant bees from the bees that the cobalt are symbiotic with. All right. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Okay, so um, we have our kingdoms. These all, and normally um, in group play, you'll draw something to symbolize each of your kingdoms on a map, but um, we can skip that. Where are the online lines?
and then we will create your village. Um, so the village, like I said, is a shared character. It's actually everything. It's the only thing that gets XP. Um, and your whole lot in life is to protect your village to keep the population alive. Um, your village has um, five stats. Uh, there's warfare, and it's how well your village goes on the offensive, and it gets added to the um, uh, damage for every unit. Uh, hardiness is how healthy your village is. It um, is your um, population, and it's also added to the uh, morale of all your units. Um, there's ingenuity. It's how clever and industrious you are. Um, and the stockpile move works off this, as well as some of the advanced moves. Um, there's teamwork. It's how well your village works together toward a common goal. And um, a lot of the recruit moves work off this, as well as some of your other um, advanced moves. And there's secrecy, and that's how well your kobolds can keep themselves hidden um, through camouflage or trickery or both. Um, and for secrecy, um, that determines your runaway ability, as well as some of your um, advanced moves. So the village has the following stats, 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. Um, so you guys can assign that in any order you want, um, and it's up to you guys to, to decide where those go um, across your single village. So you'll have to talk to each other for this one. <laughs> uh, hmm. What do people so, like for the negative one? Secrecy? So we're just like painfully obvious? I mean, it vaguely sounds that way to me, considering there are all these different groups that specifically need to come, not even near us, but specifically to us to get stuff from us. We are known. We are well known. We're marked on maps. Come here to get your fertilizer or whatever it is. I love it. We're obvious. Painfully obvious. We've built cobalt skyscrapers. They're like... <laughs> with our bees, yes. Yeah, with your bees. Yes. That's what you get from uh, skyscraper to skyscraper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, should it be the great and bounteous hive, or should it be the great and bounteous hill? Oh, I guess hell. I'll make it hell for the formians. If we went with bees, I'd just worry that I'll get confused. Fair point. Yep. I'm easily confused. All right, so I think I think if we've been able to survive so long, maybe we should make hardiness plus three. Sure. We're just we're we're just very difficult to kill. Because that'll also that'll give us a seven population. Yep. Um, how do we feel about? Warfare. Are we very warlike? I don't think so. So do you, you want to put so? zero? Go I put don't think so. I don't, I don't think we are here. Think so. No, no, not against like orcs beast. and elves and stuff. Yeah, I mean, can you be? Alright. <laughs> we will put a zero in warfare. Okay. And that leaves us with a two and a one. Uh, between ingenuity and teamwork. I think we're more ingenious than we work as a team. Yeah. Okay. So plus two ingenuity, plus one teamwork. And that's, that's being written down on your sheet, Brendan? Yes. And on Jen's sheet. I did not follow very well, so... We have, right now, just to go through it again, we have Warfare zero, uh, Hardiness plus three, Ingenuity plus two, Teamwork plus one and secrecy minus one. Our population is seven. Yep. Okay. We are a thriving Which, metropolis. Yeah. <laughs> For reference, that's that's not like seven. There there are not seven kobolds living. No, there. no. You assume that that's about ten kobolds per um, population point. Right. Um, so it's like 70, right? Which is pretty good. It's a, it's a good size cobalt village. Um, all right, so we need to answer some questions about your village. Um, birth rate's paramount uh, to your people. 
what is it about the site that you're on that allows for such an accelerated birth rate? And what thing do you have to go out to the other kingdoms to get to activate that? And that's a that's your first want, the thing you have to go get. So what supports us? I think we have a complex we have a complex mating ritual that involves uh, flowers from the nearby areas that must be given from from to, from mate to mate, and both both mates have to have the same kind of flower, and you have to like reveal it at the same time. So, like it's it's way <laughs> easier if you have a stockpile of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so unique flowers. All right. So that's your first want. You're going to have to go get flowers. Um, who's the oldest cobalt in your village? And how old are they? And how did they get sold? Um. <laughs> I was thinking, um, I don't know about a name. The only one that came to my mind was Rotscale. But I was thinking a kobold who's actually cursed. Somebody was really angry at them, and so they can't die. Oh, that's, that's so much better. I, mine was a guy who's been stuck down in the well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's dark. <laughs> so just no one ever know, knows that he's down there? No, like, they know. They kobolds feed. know, but they don't have any way to get him out? Just can't get him out. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, I love I, both I like those them. ideas. Do them together. <laughs> okay, so it's the cobalt that's stuck in a well that cannot die. Yeah. <laughs> Which, okay. What well, right. Yeah, what is his name? Do we just call him, like, the old well kobold? <laughs> kobold? <laughs> yeah. Or do we call him Stony? No one even knows his name anymore. Stony. Yes, we call him Stony. Yes, nobody knows his birth name anymore. He's Stony Old Wellian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's way too silly. I, I we need to get dark black comedy. Sorry. Uh, Stony's good. I like Stony. All right. Um, okay. What predators feed on your people, and how do you work to stop them? This adds an additional pressure to your village. Additional thing for me to torment you with. So on top of the kingdoms, what additional predators uh, uh, hunt your people? Well, Brandon and I got the, kind of teamed up on the last one, so this uh, should be either from Jen or from Mark. And Mark gave us the flowers, so Jen. Oh, it's just Jen's turn. Oh, I see. Yep. It's getting up on Jen Day. Thanks for that. Um, okay, so predators. Um, I keep going back to bees, but we're good with bees. And Mark dropped out. He's bad. Yeah, okay. Um, what's a good predator, you guys? I don't even know. Saber-toothed tigers. <laughs> <laughs> no, being funny. Saber-toothed tigers are scary. I'm, scary, yes. I'm, I'm, what about Umber Hulks? Umber oh my Hulks. lord! <laughs> Jen, Jen, what's your favorite D and D ridiculous D and D monster? Slimes. Uh, gelatinous cubes. Yes, yes. gelatinous yes. cubes. Done. Gelatinous cubes. Done. <laughs> They're so screwed. If only we could move faster, but our legs are so <laughs> short. <laughs> oh god. And especially when they learn to climb trees and drop on us. Oh, shut up! Stop! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Punching. Um, what sickness ravages your village each fall, and what do you have to go out and collect to stave off the effects? Oh, there was an old well, obviously dungeon. We have to get the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we have to steal cheese? That's awesome. Uh, yeah. there's, a, there's a sickness that basically, like, all of us, uh, all of us are unable to digest food because, like, all the bacteria in our bodies die because there's this, like, this sickness that goes through and kills all the bacteria. And so we have to eat little bits of cheese to get enough bacteria to, like, <laughs> process our food and not starve to death. All right. All right. We call so it the Orkish disease. Your second want. It's the. It'll be your second one. Yep. Um, and your 
the third or the final question, which is also your third want. What critical resource is in short supply? How do you acquire this resource? Resources in short supply, how do we acquire? Um, food, medicine, building materials, or something zanier. I like, let's go with something like legit. I like something from your list, like water, building materials, medicine, those three are interesting. Uh, what if we have to go somewhere to get water? Oh, the yeah. river, and it's in someone else's territory. Yep, that's good. And then we have to have this whole little train of, like, little kobolds carrying as big water containers as we can. Oh. Jen, please stop booting Mark from the Hangout. <laughs> I can't stand him, okay? Just... <laughs> Listen, she's going to have to buck up and live with it. Okay. Um, then you also get to choose one villain. Or so you start with the starting moves on the front, and you get one advanced move from the back. Um, so out of the current advanced moves that exist, you can pick one of these. I think we have to, like, my vote is the fuck you, we have a blank. Are you sure, or should we pick the kobold riders? Ooh. I mean, you're right. I love that move. I love the fuck you, we have a blank. But we've already established we have our bees. So if we, we do, have kobold we need riders... Bees. Yeah. <laughs> I go to the bees. Bees? Yeah, a flyaway on bees. So is that kobold riders? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then as you get um, XP, every 7 XP, you can pick a new um, advanced move for your village. So. If we live. Yeah, if you live. And now you get to build your cobalts. So on the cobalt sheet, and mine is totally torn, um, you start by choosing your family name, and this is the name that all kobolds will have throughout your clan. Um, and then you choose your family looks, and basically these are the looks that your village or your uh, kobolds, um, their family will um, pass on from generation to generation. And then you will flip over to the back, where you have currently five slots. Um, and you only need to fill out the first one. Uh, this will be your first generation. And you'll give them a first name. And then you will assign the um, following stats to their strength, con, wisdom, dex, intelligence, or charisma. You get a 1, a 1, a 0, a 0, and a negative, and negative 1, negative 1. And then you will uh, choose abilities from the other side of the page. Um, and um, that's two plus your wisdom. And negatives count, so. OK. Sorry, so where, where am I picking these? Oh, it's from the other side. Sorry. Abilities are on the other side of the page. Of the... Of the character sheet. The, the, the sheet ah, that says family name at the top, that's yeah, where the abilities are. Yeah. There's no yeah, other I side. Like, I don't know where you got this fancy, like, two-sided printer. I know. Oh, <laughs> kobolds are, but... I Listen, I do it the old way, just one well, sheet. Man, two sheet, yeah. Just because you hate trees. I'll do. Listen, they're a renewable resource. <laughs> or so I've read... So would would the next generation of kobold, I mean, they inherit the same stats, uh, plus one, but do yeah. they inherit the same abilities? Are we choosing abilities no, that are going to carry through? New abilities. Uh, you can pass some on if you want, but they don't have to be the same. Got it. That's good to know that I wouldn't be dooming my descendants to have yeah. terrible abilities. 
you, you get to tinker with the uh, the build as you go along, and get slightly better. Slightly. Yeah. Just yeah, enough as, to give you hope. Yes, as you die and you advance, um, your neck, your children will take the exact same staff walk in the same order, and they will advance one of the um, one of the numbers by one, with a maximum of two. And then um, they will choose new abilities based on their wisdom score. Nice. Uh, I am going with the family name of Steiny. I am Kelhorn. That's better. I have no horns. Do you have a helmet? I might have the helmets. <laughs> I think I'm going to take reflexes for my ability. I've got pet, because I ride on a bee. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. We can both have bees. I took pet, too. I'm Gorwing. No, that's it. No, I want you to be special. Maybe you I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take away your pet. That's, that's okay. I figured we, we lodge a lot on our whole on our bees, because our name is Gorwing, so we're all about, like, wings covered in core. <laughs> totally, totally makes sense to me. Sometimes our own. We don't talk about those times. Uh, what should we pick for skills? Oh, um, so I just removed skills from the game, so ah, you took nothing. Um, it's just there to taunt us, isn't it, Steve? Yes, yes, it's just there to taunt us. don't have skills. You can write whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's just a glaring reminder that you have no skills. No, no skills. <laughs> right. Actually, you, people, we should write them, and then they have no effects. So, like, yeah, whatever exactly. skills you want. All right. That's, yeah, I totally have skills with the ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lock the generation skills. skills to pay the bills. Basket weaving. Liger training skills. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. I've got cantrips, yo. Cantrips is good. Dude, this magic. And then do we roll for our hit points? Yes, uh, your hit points are 1d6 plus your constitution. You awesome. are kidding me. I have to roll dice. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yes, not a one. Nice. Here comes yeah. one. Come on, one. Nice. Oh, you love me. Is Jen our tank? Yeah, I think so. Oh, holy <laughs> God. You oh, guys have a hero in strength. Yeah. You should swap that around just because you're so tough. We haven't named our village. Yeah, you need to name your village. Sorry. Uh, what will your village be called? I think we should call it the Great City because there's 70 of us. <laughs> the Great Metropolis. <laughs> Cobalt, Cobalt City. Oh, it was like Honey Meadow of Delight. <laughs> Sorry. That's just what the Steinies call it. Honey, honey Meadow City? I like the city. I, I can go with the city. I'm good with the great city. Let's, Let's call it. It's, it's great. But everybody knows it's, really, it's like the Big Apple, where it's like Honey, honey Meadow Delight is the... Official the name. name. Yeah. yeah. Goes in all of our tourist brochures. Mm -hmm. Come on down to Honey Meadow Delight. We don't always die. But when we do, it's spectacular. The, slo we die the slogan on the tourist material is, they can't kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so uh, that's so you have your um, we have everything from the world, the village, and the cobalts, um, and we can get started. Um, so as you are all um, meandering about Honey Meadows, uh, a uh, you 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 hear a shuffling and a scream. And one of your cobalt scouts runs through the village 
and he's screaming, Cubes! Cubes everywhere! And then runs straight across to the other side of the village and away. And he's, he hasn't stopped running. Now, knowing how slow gelatinous cubes are, <laughs> you, you probably have a while to, uh, to plan ahead. Uh, well, what do you want to do? Well, we we burn them. That is that's how you kill gelatinous cubes, right? Is it? I don't know if we've ever actually killed one. I honestly don't know. We just we just keep moving around. <laughs> we just keep moving around and just lead them down different ways. Wait, come here. <laughs> um. Well. So do we want to? You want to get fire to block the entrances to the great city? That sounds like a foolproof plan. If we lay down fires, they they will keep the gelatinous cubes away, and we will be safe, except from the fire. There's no way this could backfire. None. <laughs> backfire. Huh. Oh. <laughs> okay. let, us, let us lay fires in their path. Okay. So you want to lay some fires in their path, then. Um, so, like, 45 minutes later, you finally um, hear the, the sloshing and glurping of a... Uh, of a gelatinous cube as it as it meanders towards your village, um, and you know where to set a, a fire. Uh, who wants to go and try and set the fires? I can I can go set the fires. I I agree. Yeah. Okay. I agree. She, she can do that. I, I feel like that's probably an intelligence role to uh, to set the fires in a way that will not um, just set everything on fire. Set myself on fire. Yeah. yeah. Yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. It's 2d6, right? Yeah, 2d6 plus whatever um, plus that is applicable. I fail. Nice. So, um, teamwork. Right. Te teamwork. Yeah, so a failure is a failure like um, regular Dungeon World. Um, you get an XP, but for the village. So, um, the village gets one XP, and... Um, something horrible happens to you. Um, so you, you're going to light the uh, uh, the the bushes around the, um, the 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 entrance to the city on fire um, as this gelatinous cube is slowly uh, um, meandering towards you. And as you um, as you go down to light one of the uh, bushes, a uh, pseudopod rips through the uh, bush and smacks you in the face. And there, you you see that there is a small baby gelatinous cube right in front, <laughs> right behind that bush, and its pseudopod hits you for a d6. No sixes. All right. All right. So, um, so there is now a, an adult and a baby pseudopod, obviously out to teach her um, its child how to hunt kobolds. Um, what do you do? Um, I think I'm just like waving a, a torch around. Yeah. Um. Oh, you guys! I have lucky. I could have won that roll. Next time. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like light it on fire because I have a torch in my hand. Okay, uh, so Dex to do that to to uh, jump around and light it on fire. Not my strong suit. This is minus one. I'm gonna use lucky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So wait, 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 hey, hey, the the, the village could use yeah. some XP. All right. Well, then why don't you come over here and face this gelatinous cube then? Oh, I'll, I'll succeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <let's just> go <laughs> ahead. Are you you're gonna use lucky though? Yes. Okay. So you um you light it on fire, and um it the fire uh, singes the uh, the the edges of the gelatinous cube baby, and it uh it kind of um squicks away, and um, and you do a d6 damage to it with your fire. So roll your d6. I get a four. We're good. 
Above average, yeah. even. Nice. Okay, so you do four to it. So the baby is pretty hurt. Um, as you, your trained cobalt eyes are able to determine just how, that it is, in fact, quite hurt. Um, and Brennan, what are you doing? Our fellow kobold is in danger. We must we must act for the unity of the great city. I have a torch on the end of a stick, and I'm going to ride uh, Gorwing. We always name our bee Gorwing, even when it's a different bee. Uh, I'm going to ride Gorwing straight at the little gelatinous cube and try and stick it. Do it. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's Dex as well. All right. So not fall. Actually, no, you can do strength. I think that's a strength. Huzzah! Here yeah. we go. Boom! So that's a 10 and plus one more because I'm working with my pet. So that would be an 11. Nice. So yeah, you stab it with your fire for a d6. All right, I am going to deal a d6. And I deal plus two because I took slay. Die, jerk. Four. Four, nice. Uh, to the baby gelatinous cube. Wait, I, wait, wait. How did you take slay and pet? Uh, you get two abilities plus your wisdom. But there's only one space. Hmm. Fill the I space. With mark out skills points. with the ladies and get another ability. <laughs> <laughs> you write multiple within the same space, buddy. <laughs> You don't understand. I write pretty big. Okay. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want you to get rid of your skills with the ladies, so you, you should probably get an extra sheet if you need. Man, you need additional paper. All right. Um, all right. So the um, the baby gelatinous cube shrivels up into a little uh, ball of of melted goo, and um, the the uh, adult. Cube is obviously enraged, um, and it it starts to move quickly toward uh, you and your bee. Uh, Mark, what are you doing? Um, so I would I, I think I'm going to try to get uh, some of the other kobolds in the village to help us out here. Okay. Uh, and so I, I I climb up on a little I want a little uh, like uh, hill in the in the nearby, and I point at the gelatinous cube, and I say, look, it is our enemy at our gates. We must rally, right, and, and try to get the try to get the kobolds to, to, to protect the great city. Okay, so you can roll the recruit move um, okay. to get any of the kobolds to actually listen to you or help. Um, so recruit is uh, plus your teamwork, or your village's teamwork. So 2d6 plus 1 for you. It's not bad. Here we go. Eight. Okay. So on a seven and nine, you can get one unit of cobalts, um, and it reduces your population. So basically, ten of the of your cobalt friends will um, be like, "Yeah, this, this seems like a reasonable idea," and they'll start helping. You. Um, and uh, the yeah. the kobolds work um, as a normal unit, so they have a uh, one for damage and a four for morale. So and you can sick them after the uh, gelatinous cube, and effectively during combat, um, all units that are touching each other will just exchange um, their morale and damage. So. They'll do one damage to the gelatinous cube's morale, and the gelatinous cube will do damage to them. Oh. Okay. Um, and red, what are you doing? I uh, I see that we are unable to defeat these foes with the two attacks that have been given, so I'm going to summon. The power of 
fire on uh, the baby gelatinous cube because I have a chance of actually hurting it with my. Oh, it's already mind. dead. I'm going to summon fire upon the enraged but extremely slow mother. There you go. Uh, which is a cantrip of candle. Does that actually do damage? No. I am extremely <laughs> upset about that. I'm going to bless uh, the bee rider. Okay. Uh, you are blessed. There you go. I got a roll for that, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah, plus your um, wisdom. Okay, I'm 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 pretty wise. Don't worry about this. I got this. Got a plus one here on my wisdom. That'll be a that'll be an eight. So uh, the bless works, but I gain an unwanted attention. Yeah. So you um you bless uh, the bee walk, bee rider, and as you are um, summoning the uh, which by the way, what's your god? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too choosy. This week uh, is is the is the god of wax. Uh, to sow. Okay. All right. So you summon the god of wax, and or you summon the blessing of the god of wax, and as you do, the uh, mother uh, or the mother of gelatinous cube um, hears you calling down blessings and rushes towards you. So. Um, at the the fastest speed a gelatinous cube can rush. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll briskly walk away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Jen, what are you doing? Um. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna attack the mom. Come up and attack us. Okay. And, and the tank. So. We have culture. Yeah. Um, I don't have any, like, special abilities as far as this goes. I'm just going to attack. Okay. That's just it's a 2 to 6 plus your strength if it's melee and dex if it's ranged. Um, it's strength because that's my better score. Cool. So what are you doing? What are you attacking with? Uh, with my torch. Torch? Okay. Which I still have in my hand. All right, I got an 8. 8. Nice. So yeah, you um, you run up to the uh, gelatinous cube and smash it with your torch, um, and it rears back and slaps you with a pseudopod. Um, you do a d6 to it, which is four. Okay, and it does a d8 to you. Ouch! That killed me. Okay, so you're dead. Um, congratulations, you're the first to die. Uh, and what happens when you die? You get two um, uh, hold. Um, these death token hold, um, what they do, you can spin them to put others over um, throughout the rest of the combat. So um, if you want to bump someone from a failure to a 7 or 9, or if you want to bump them from a 7 to 9 to a 10+, plus, um, you can spend one of those tokens. If you don't spend them by the end of combat, they become XP for the village. So. Um, Alrighty. All right, Brendan, what are you doing? You've just seen your uh, fellow fall to the gelatinous cube. No! You shall be avenged! <laughs> do, a, do a circle in the air and come back around and... And charge them. Yeah. Okay, totally do it. Murder, murder, death, kill, murder, murder, death. Please don't fail me. All right, so that's an eight. Eight. Awesome. So, yeah, your, your bee dives um, at the uh, gelatinous cube, and you, you just skin the surface of it, dragging your, your torch along the, uh, the top edge of the gelatinous cube. Um, and as you do, it uh, swats at you with one of its pseudopods uh, filled with cobalt armor. And <laughs> take a uh, you take a D8 from it hitting you, and you'll do a D6. Okay. Um, here we go. So I'm going to roll those two at the same time. Yeah. I like and the idea that Jim's cobalt little lifeless body is still in the pseudopod. <laughs> 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 Corpse. 
Oh, Wait. gosh. <laughs> All right, so I take three damage. That's okay. I'm okay. okay with that. And you do five. I deal five plus three, because I have three. two for slay and one for the bless. Thank so, you, Wax God. Okay, yeah, so you've actually, you actually whack its um, pseudopod off, and Jen's uh, body falls to the ground covered in goo. Um, and uh, Mark, what are you doing? So I've got this, uh, I've got this group of kobolds, and I have leadership. No, sorry, I don't have leadership. Um, I thought I did. No, I took something else. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you know, leading them with my little kobold dagger sword. I'm gonna charge through the brush they're gonna land on fire and and take the fight right to the distracted Delatin's cube. Totally. So should I roll plus strength for that? Yeah. So I have a one for strength. Let's see. Hey, the village gets an XP. That's good. Yeah, that's a six. And another uh, thing. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, uh, do we do we want to use our? Do we want to ask Jen to use her token, or do we want to save that for X? Yeah. Do you want XP from it, or do you want to um, succeed at this uh, punch? No, well, I, think, I think I'll... I, no. I just died. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a new character, you guys. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So, um, also, a, a thing I didn't mention with the failures, it also will check a want clock. Every time that um, you fail, one of the wants uh, gets checked on your, um, on, your car- on your village sheet. And so far, I've checked two for cheats. So you're at one. You're at two o'clock on cheese. Oh, I do not like that. Cheese is becoming um, um, rather uh, rather scarce in the village. Uh, once you get to six, you automatically lose a population, and once you get to ten, you lose another. And when you get to noon or midnight, um, you lose a two d six population because that want has gone unfulfilled. So um, okay. Uh, yeah, you're you try and um, uh, you try and uh, run toward them and stab them, but you miss completely somehow, and you fall over on, and beside the uh, you, you trip over the other kobolds and slam into the dirt beside the uh, the um, gelatinous cube. Um, Red, what are you doing? Well, uh, <clears throat> was it Osgood, the, the Glugzub that died there? Was that... Okay. So Lily is the next one. All right, so I will avenge Lily? Osgood. Uh, we'll take up his torch, which no one... You know, we're about to start a forest fire, people, really. <laughs> uh, so I'll pick that up, and um, I'll brandish it at the gelatinous cube that's coming after me. I've got its attention, so I'll yeah. just get, get away from her, you bitch! And then I'll burn it. Okay, so plus strength to smash into it with your torch. Okay, uh, I have a minus one strength, so here we go. Some XP for the village. That's right, a four. <laughs> okay. So... You're running low on water as well now, so I've ticked one, or the one o'clock for the water. Um, and the cube... Um, Smashes into you as you uh, as you fail to touch it uh, or fail to hit it uh, and does a D8 to you. Oh goodness! Let's see how bad that is. All right, here we go. And I'm dead. Okay. All right. Did I did I take any damage when I fell, Steve? Uh, no. No, you're just prone. You want okay. you want to get back up. You can't do anything. Um. Okay. All right. So. Um, as it as it smashes into you and absorbs your body, you uh, red um, fall or red soaks kind of soaks into the uh, into the gelatinous cube, kicking and screaming, um, and you get two uh, death tokens, and you will get to create your next um, generation. Uh, Flackrick, what are you doing? 
Wow. So this monster is now taken down two of our number. Yes. Um, if I die today, I die nobly, defending my home. A dark day it will be when the will of kobolds breaks, but that day is not today. <laughs> Uh yeah, and you're just flying and up, and come, and coming and around for another pass. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and scrape down along one side and, and like hook the flaming part of the torch into its side and drag it straight through the side. Okay. Is that strength? Yep. Boom! That's the eleven. Nice. So yeah, you um you come down and you smash your uh, torch through it. And the uh, the cube actually separates into two pieces, and then just falls. Um, uh, roll your d6. I say it does this, but am I still blessed? Is that still? Uh, yes, you are still blessed until the end. Two cell lives on. <laughs> I appreciate that blessing. Oh, that's not much. So I deal four damage. Awesome. So that's enough. Um, <laughs> it it splatters in half. And uh, yes. there's goop and dead cobalt bodies uh, on I, on both sides of this uh, this slowly dissipating um, flat cube. Um, so you've uh, vanquished the gelatinous cube foe, um, and you have let's see four additional XP. So you are actually at seven XP. So you can take another advance move for the village. Boy. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> now do you want to take the, um... Fuck you, we have a wizard. <laughs> no, we have a dragon. Ah, uh, yeah. Fuck you, we have a dragon. You have to take them in order, so you can get to a dragon, but you have to first go through wizard, troll, necromancer. That's not nearly as cool. I mean... You have to take it four times. You have to prove yeah. your worthiness to wizard the dragon. Wizards right? hipsters. <laughs> um, we could be hardy. That could potentially help us survive better. Or we could have a bit of the old ultraviolence. I'm just saying. Did you get all of the... Because we got four XP because there are two death tokens. Yeah, two yeah there's four for the um, deaths. And three from failures. Right, so we have seven, so we can go ahead and take. Yeah. Gotcha, okay. There we have. What do you think? I say we, I say we go with uh, the hardy kobolds. Because yeah. being able to have more hit points. You call like what? Wait, what do we do? Uh, Just run around and solve mysteries? <laughs> What did you like, Jim? Uh, decoy village. The village <laughs> has constructed a decoy village somewhere around your main breeding village. When a mission fails and all champion kobolds die, this village will be raided instead of your main breeding village. You lose three population instead of 2d6. We got 70 to go. I'm going to do that right away. I like it, but just saying. You can be hardy. Whatever. Well, 2d6. 2d6 on average is 7, so we lose our entire village. Okay, alright. Decoy village. Decoy village. Alright, decoy village. Decoy village. So, Steve, did we reset a want clock by taking care of the gelatinous cubes? Uh, no, you do not. Uh, because gelatinous cube goo is not something that your village actually wants. <laughs> we need to find <laughs> a we use have so for much of it. <laughs> if only this would help you aid, your, aid in your digestion. If we know how to ferment this stuff into some wicked alcohol, yeah. that does not help our village. Um, <laughs> but you are starting to run low on cheese. And you're running lower on water. So, uh, those, those so are I, I, uh, yeah, so Kelhorn, Kip Kelhorn is a renowned kobold thief. Yeah. 
um, known for my uh, the fact that I stole something one time and it was not caught. It was glorious. <laughs> uh, and uh, I would like to propose that we we go find ourselves some cheese. I agree. We will go find a humble peddler of cheese amongst the humans, and we shall kill him and take it. Yes, it makes the most sense that the chalk would, cheese. in fact, have. <laughs> That's our main export, is cheese. <laughs> the eldest son of Red Rojo agrees. <laughs> Rojo's fine. All right. Um... So, uh, Jen, the chalk, what kind of um, land is it? Is it um, it's, no, it's, it's actually like um, sort of low mountainside, like where the mountain meets um, the flatlands. Okay. Um, and there's uh, like a few uh, inches, well, maybe let's say a foot under the surface is just like chalk, right? Um, so they have a lot of sheep grazing, and they make sheep cheese. Okay. So, um, does anyone have um, Scout? <laughs> no. Not at all. Okay. Um, do you guys want to go alone, or do you want to take um, a, some kobolds with you? I think we can take some kobolds with us, right, guys? Uh, what sure. happened to the kobolds we took with us last time? Did they oh, come back with us? I the population. They're just like, yeah, cool, we won. And then they can <laughs> walk the drink gelatinous cube uh, with her. Yay, it's yeah. a party. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I think uh, I'd be willing to stand up on the little block again and say, "Noble kobolds, we have defended our village and defeated the cubes." And then I, everybody you know raises their little kobold glasses filled with gelatinous cube goo. But it is not our lot to drink and sit, as tempting as that might be. We must journey to the faraway lands to get the cheeses and return with them from the humans. All right. Um, roll plus your teamwork. Kill the humans. I have an eleven. Nice. Um, twelve. Twelve actually. Is twelve. Twelve. So all right. Cool. Um, so you can take um, up to two units of cobalts. Uh, do we want both, everyone? So we'll have 20 kobolds following us on this covert mission. Yes. I kind of love that idea, but... <laughs> I think maybe we should just abduct a whole sheep and bring it back with us. So yes! Yes! Oh my yes. god! Yes. <laughs> we will make our own cheeses. <laughs> Let us go and steal their sheeps. Do we think that the, the cheese comes directly from the sheep? Because I think that would be the best. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. If, if we're convinced, like we'll steal some cheese too, but like we'll steal the sheep and the sheep. The, the I, yeah, I'll give this impassioned speech about how the the sheep is filled with cheese, and then you squeeze it, and cheese comes out, right? And therefore, we must steal the sheep and return to you with the sheep and the cheeses. This is a very inspiring speech, apparently. <laughs> Obviously. All right. So, do you want to take both? Oh yeah, yeah, we're taking yeah? both. Yeah. All right. Sure, I, th I think Liley's words are wise. So we'll do what Liley suggests. Because we need okay. cheese and cheesy nipples. It's Liley. Yes, uh, <laughs> Liley is the smartest among us, and she shall lead. And I, and I, and <laughs> no, I, I, I like the last time, you guys. No, no, no. Somebody else leads this time. <laughs> Don't you remember the sacrifices of them. Ozgug? Yeah, don't you remember the sacrifices of Ozgug, who charged in the battle against the cubes that you now drink? The greatest Billy among us. Billy is our leader. Yeah, the greatest among us. She shall lead. And I, like, <laughs> refuse to go anywhere until you take command. All right, my, my taking command is mostly just, like, all right. And I just, like, walk forward. That's my command. So... 
you um you you troop on through the uh, woods and out into the uh, toward the mountains where you know the uh, sheep uh, herders. Um, do we troop or do we fly on our bees? Oh yeah, yeah, you fly on your bees, I guess. Yeah, totally. So you're flying in on your bees, um, and below you you see um, a uh, flock of sheep, and there is uh, there are two um, humans uh, standing near the sheep, um, and they are looking up at the giant bees that are flying toward them. Um, and there are two dogs with them that are barking at the sheep and alternately at the giant bees that are flying toward them. Um, what do you guys do? Vile creatures. I, I try to dive bomb a human. You're, okay, you're just going to go straight for it. Yeah. <laughs> All really, right. it's just like our pappy. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, then, yeah, I think it's a, um, a strength check to smash into them with your bee. Or where are you smashing them with a club or? Uh, yeah, probably like a club. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally. So yeah, strength. All right, we are rolling a zero. I get a seven. Nice. So you um, you skim down and you're kind of leaning off the side of your bee and you smash uh, one of them with your uh, um, with your club and as you do. Um, he uh, or he smashes you with the cane that he's holding, um, and you take a d8 and you deal a d6. Okay, I did. I rolled the d6, which is three. Okay. And I uh, no, I didn't die. I have one left. Okay. <laughs> there's a there's a huzzah from a huzzah. Yeah. So you see, as uh, as Lily or Lily. Flies or flies down, smashes in, gets smashed on, but then zooms back up into the pack. Um, Mark, oh, what are you doing? Do I'm sorry, I do two damage extra because I took slay. Nice. Okay. Gregory, is, is this a battle? This is totally a battle. Good. I'm going to use my reflexes move. Okay. Which lets me dodge uh, attacks. Totally. Made against me. Let's see. I have oh. Unless I roll that, in which case it's a six. So I get one hold. No, wait. Well, on a six or less, the gym gets a hard move too. Yep. So I get to make a hard move whenever I want. Um, basically, I don't have to spend it immediately. I just use it whenever. Um, okay. So yeah. So I don't. That doesn't work. Okay. Wow. Um, but I. Uh, so yeah, I, I I sort of scan the area, looking around for threats, and find myself. Uh, a little confused by like the the sheep moving milling about like there's too many of them I can't mm -hmm. uh, I can't get my bearings. Okay, so yeah, you're just kind of disoriented and, and down in the middle of the uh, of, of all the sheep. Um, Rojo, what are you doing? I think that it would be wise of me to aid my brother and sister kobolds. By calling upon the blessings of this week's deity, which is the god of deciduous trees. Maple, please, please aid Lily in her quest to not die. And It's Lily. <laughs> Don't say that. The god's going to help Lily, not Lily. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, the ble to bless. I must lay hands upon Lily. Oh, okay, actually, I can do it's it. Lily. <laughs> oh, it appears that the bless is was for Lily. Uh, because that's a six. Lily, however, is not blessed. Yeah. So somewhere in somewhere on the planet, there is a Lily who's like, oh, I feel a little better today. And unfortunately, Lily does not. <laughs> That's an XP for the village. So the village gets an XP. And... Really need cheese. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, you're running low, a little lower on water, so your water's at 2 now. Um, Mark rolled a miss, too. What uh, want clock did you check up for that? Oh, wait, yeah, you're right. Uh, so then that will be the cheese. 
So that should put us at 3 o'clock. Yeah, cheese. that's 3 o'clock on the cheese and 2 o'clock on the water. Go okay. Um, Black Rick, what are you doing? You strike the beast where it is weakest. I fly down and slam into one of the human's knees. Okay, totally. So, plus strength? Yes. Uh, so that is a 7, plus 1 for strength, plus 1 for my pet, 9. 9, nice. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you smash into his knees, and as you do, he kicks you in the face. Shit! Um, so you do a d6, and he does a d8. Damn it! All right, so I do... woo I do 8 damage! Nice! Is this to the one that um, Lily hit, or...? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to die, guys. Yeah, I died. <laughs> and so he kicks you, and you're you're thrown into the maws of one of the dogs. And the dog just shakes you around and drops your limp body. I die for all kobold guys. And you get um, two. Uh, um, you get two uh, <laughs> uh, uh, death tokens. Uh, Lily, what will you do? You've seen your comrade fall. Um, I am... Uh, the, the, hum the human is still... Still hasn't fallen down yet? Uh, no, but it is severely damaged. Oh, well, I'm totally beating this human, who is not elderly and using a cane at all, obviously. No. He's not just some simple shepherd. Lily, <laughs> what's the feet? They're fierce. It's Lily. <laughs> so this is uh, I'm just going after like with my club again. So this okay. is yeah. Right. So strength. And as, as she throw. goes, as she does this, I'm going to shout. She has been so transformed by the death of her comrade that she has chosen a new name. <laughs> that she is known as Lily. <laughs> okay. Uh, unless unless somebody wants to use a death token, I fail. How many hit points do you have left? I, we mean... One. Do you have how many? One left? One. All right, I'll use a death token. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll save... Lily needs to live to fight I don't think that's going to save her, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can burn them both to put, to put her at a 10 plus. Oh, that's true. She doesn't take damage, but she's going to take damage one way or the other. Let her cook. We need the extra. You should probably eat. just not use that token <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'll be like, all right, fine. Let her die. Keep the tokens. I all right, the, fine. The kobolds finally know your name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I won't so spend a token then. Right all right, so um, the cheese has uh, started to get the cheese shortage has started to become critical, and you've lost um, one population because uh, it's now at six. At six. However, the, the, that is the older kobolds first, right? Of course, yeah. Okay. The old and the young. Um, and Lily, you take a, a D8 from uh, slamming into the ground beside... I'm, I'm, the, I'm totally rolling this, but it doesn't matter what I roll. Just describes how bad the kobolds ah! <laughs> <laughs> The two kills Lily. <laughs> Okay, and uh, so you and your beeves crashed into the ground beside the uh, the shepherds. Uh, Kid, what are you doing? Um, so this, can you tell me again? There are two shepherds. Two shepherds and two dogs. Two dogs, and we have hurt one of the shepherds once. Severely wounded one of the shepherds. He's 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 barely standing. And when do our kobold units come into play here? Uh, they can come into play anytime you want. Um, just assign them to attack somebody. Okay. They had to so run think, off, right? They didn't have yeah. beat. Yeah. Uh, so I think we'll... I'll, I would like to assign the kobold units to attack the dogs. Okay. And then I will land my little bee, and I will point my little sword, and I will say, I have watched the greatest... I, I have watched the greatest among us fall. I saw... Uh, what was your dad's name? Osgog. I saw Osgog fall to the cube, and now Lily to your treacherous cane. <laughs> Humad, you have met your end. This is all in kobold, of course, so it's not... Of course, uh, so it's like... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> right. <laughs> and then I and then I charge the one that's injured. Okay. Uh, let's see. So rolling two d six here. I have plus one. Okay. That is a six. <laughs> now remember, we do need to get the cheese back to the village. Yeah, someone needs to survive to get the cheese back to the village. If you do not... my death tokens. Okay, so you're going to burn your death tokens? Yes, both of them. Both of them. Okay, so you get 10 plus. So, yeah, you, you absolutely you run up to them, and you slam into this... Uh, are you hitting the wounded one? Yeah, the wounded one. Okay, yeah, you slam into them and you, for a d6. And you take him out. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you smash like... into his leg and his shit, and he just falls over prone, um, gasping his last breath. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll turn to the other one, and I'll say... Uh, I will, I'll, I'll kind of like just... Rah! Look like, you know, crazy kobold and try to scare him away. Okay. He seems a little nonplussed and confused by the whole situation. <laughs> uh, uh, Rojo, what, what will you do? Double tap in the one that went down. They're tricky. Come on, it's tricky. <laughs> Stab it again. Okay. Um, roll plus dex to dismount your, to dismount your uh, uh, B, or to fly down with your B. And uh, get near enough to uh, stab this dead. It's a flat zero. Here we go. I am the greatest <laughs> bee rider. In the you you fly down, you jump off the back of your bee, do a backflip and land, and then like stab your um, your dagger into the face of the. Uh... After Wiley, right there, buddy. There you go. Absolutely. Um. All right. I assume... Thistle says, it's Lily. <laughs> <laughs> the dead can't speak. Mark, I'm sorry, uh, Kib, what shall you do? I say, her name was Lily. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then I, and then I leap at the other, at the other human who is on okay. All right. Do it. Seven. Seven. Okay. So you... Um, you smash into them. Or what are you using? I have like like a little rusty dagger or something I've taken yeah. off of uh, taken off of a, a fallen murder hubba. <laughs> Pulled from a gelatinous cube. Yeah, I was inside a gelatinous cube. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you stab into um, into the back of his leg, and he uh, sweeps around with his uh, his uh, staff, um, and you'll do a d6, and he'll do a d8. Do you? Uh... How did the uh, how are things faring against the, uh, the oh, dogs? The dogs, uh, the dogs have been fairly brutalized uh, so far. Um, one more round, and they will be down. And your kobolds will okay. still cool. still do okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so I deliver two damage, okay. but uh, I will do. I will take. Five. Uh, that's enough to kill me. And that is the end of Kib. Yep, Kib's dead. All right. That's it. So, Rojo, your your compatriots have all fallen, and you are alone with. Well, you and your uh, your two units are alone with these uh, dogs and this last shepherd. What will you do? I got I got death tokens, dude. Go. go. All right, I'm going. Get the cheeses. Faith of of. of right, right before I die, I say, I say, I say, the cheese and the sheep <laughs> for the village. <laughs> then I go. I, hey, I, can I, can... I really never agreed with this plan from the first place. <laughs> People are way bigger than bees. <laughs> But it's too late. I'm gone. I'm gone. Yeah. I'm gone now. yeah. All right. I'm, I'm taking my sword. 
And I'm going to hack up this Humon, the one that's moving. It's going oh. down. I happen to be pretty tough. God bless myself. Maybe I'll do that next. Yes, you can. Man, that would have been smart. All right, I'm attacking. Okay. I uh, That's the strength. So yeah. Minus one on strength. Here we go. That'll be a nine. Somebody death token me out so I don't bite it. Sorry. Death token up. The death token, okay. Bazow. So you're at a ten. Nice. Um, so you'll do a d6. I'm going to do a d6. That'll be a five with plus nothing. So it's a five. Okay. All right, and the uh, other kobolds have swarmed and taken down the two dogs. Um, do you want them to come help you with the shepherd? I just thought they'd take a smoke break, but <laughs> yeah, not help. That's awesome. yeah. they don't do anything unless they're ordered. Does that use up an attack if I no. order them? No, no, you just you you can tell them to come help you. Great Maple has sworn death to this human. Aid me in cutting him in places that hurt. Okay, and they rush over. Yes, we will help you! And uh, start to um, smash into the uh, the shepherd as well. Um, and you want to attack? Yeah, I'm crawling up. Like, front parts. Going for the eyes. The fleshy bits. That's the parts you go for. Okay, here we go. Another minus one for this attack. Uh, that'll be an eight. Maple has determined that I just spent another death token. Oh, that's a ten then. Uh, that is awesome. I will d sixify him. Come on, damage for more than one. That's a five. Nice. All right, and then as you as you stab your sword into his eyes, um, the other kobolds drag him down to the ground and start beating him mercilessly. Uh, and you have a. Uh, you vanquished both shepherds um, and both dogs, and you alone stand champion of your village. <laughs> this is so dark. <laughs> yes. Steal the sheep. <laughs> Take all the sheep. All the sheep. <laughs> You're taking all the sheep. Every sheep that you can find. <laughs> Take it back to the great city. <laughs> Hey, go ahead and load up Lily and Kib and whichever one of the Gorwings up on sheep backs. <laughs> we'll bury them with honor. It's a great victory that we've had today. Did, did anybody, where do they keep the cheese? Do you know? <laughs> it's in the... All right, I'm cutting up on sheeps for cheese. <laughs> I think they, they 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 probably have some at their house, right? Which is is it nearby or is it like are they yeah, stopping? Most like, of the kids are speaking to me. Yeah, they're they're up, you know, they're they're in the lowlands right now, so I'm sure they have a, a tent or a yurt or something nearby that you can raid and. Let's let's raid! Don't let the sheep's go. You guys watch the sheep's, okay? Watch the sheep's. I'm going to the yurt to steal all the cheese. Take the sheep's back. I'll catch up with you on my bee. <laughs> so you fly over on your bee, and uh, yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm just gonna walk the bee because getting off of it—that was a one-time thing. <laughs> you don't think you can get off? Oh, I no. can't top that. All right. So yeah, you get you get to their yurt, um, and there is um, there's one um, one other human standing outside. Um, Working on uh, uh, actually churning um, uh, sheep butter and uh, creating cheese and butter. What will you do? Take her. That's how it goes. Get her right. Off. Yeah. Listen, Kumon, you're coming with me. Oh. Make cheese. And then we'll let you go. She she like are you and she looks it down at this yipping cobalt um and screams and runs into the yurt. Nothing 
ever easy. Go into the yurt, and I'll just take the cheese. Where's the cheese? Uh, the cheese is uh, in... Um, there's a cheese shelf here. Uh, the whole shelf of cheese. A whole shelf of, of, of fine cheeses. Fine uh, sheep cheeses. <laughs> and yeah, they're... Uh, uh, they, um, the humans in the... Or, well, not in the corner of the yurt. Yurts don't have corners. Um, she is uh, <laughs> on the other side of the yurt holding a sword and, uh, uh, and pointing it at you. Well, I have my sword out first. I'm going for cheese. So if she attacks me, I'll attack her back. Otherwise, just taking cheese. Okay. So you take the cheese, and um, she uh, moves towards you. Or actually, yeah, she moves towards you to, uh, to try and pin you away from her food supply. What do you do? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm brandishing the sword. She's getting close. There's, there's, there's going to be a battle. I'm, I've got my bloodlust up and maples on my side. So okay. if it comes to it, we're going to throw down. Um, she steps in front of the, uh, in between you and the cheese, as she sees you go for it. Okay, that's it. I'm hacking her bits. Do it. That's it. I, I gave her a chance. <sighs> so sorry. Senseless oh, death. Uh, that's a seven. I don't have any more death tokens. That's okay. <laughs> I do. Enjoy. I still have two. Who wants to go down? Okay. I can, I can spend a death token. I'll make it a ten. Do it. Okay. So it's a ten. Um, all right. So you do a d six. Four. Okay. She is quite wounded. Um, and she kind of backs away a little, uh, and and starts fending you or tries to fend you off. She's severely wounded at this point. Oh well, if she's just defending. That's fine. I'm just taking the cheese. Taking the cheese and going. Taking the cheese. All right. I'll tell you, you had a chance. You could have made cheese. <laughs> so you take all the cheese. You're just a widow. <laughs> you could have had a life. So you take all their cheese, all their foodstuffs. All the cheese. I'm loaded up on the bee. Yeah. Be in saddlebags. And you're flying back to the village. And I'm walking back to the village. Oh, okay. You're gonna fly. Laden with cheese. Kind of have the bee like on a like, all right, like sort of like a little leash. Yeah, like a little balloon. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. All right. So you get back to the village uh, with all your cheese. And uh, the other villagers um, greet you and celebrate with you. Um, and because you have reset a want clock, you go into a breeding frenzy. Um, oh, 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 oh. Do I have any flowers? We have, oh, we have enough on hand, right? We have a right? of flowers right now. Woo! I was a little nervous. Um, so <laughs> you get to roll the breed move. And the breed move works... Um, by you roll plus your hardiness, and um, you get to add additional population to your. Uh, oh your... man, we've got some good hardiness. That was like our number one thing. Yes, we breathe. I like think someone else should roll for that. No man, you returned. Yeah, you're the one that made it. Oh, that's that's true, but I'm not necessarily one to breed for babies, so somebody else could do that. No, no, no. You are the chosen kobold to Very well. I will accept the honor of breeding into the next generation. <laughs> For fun. Okay, uh, 2d6 plus 3? Yep. yep. So I'm going to clear my dice, otherwise that will be confusing. I have an... Uh, that's a 10. Yes. Cool. On a uh, 10 plus, uh, you get to add a d6 to your population, and it generates no additional wants. All right, uh, I think uh, that li the thistle can roll the d6 there. All right, one uh, d6. Boom! Yes. We just like doubled our population, you guys. Yes, we have no urban planning for that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll put some people in the decoys village. Yeah. 
<laughs> there are no bit. Yeah, that's right. We built those villages so that people could live like suburbs. Yeah, suburbs. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the people you don't like, you'll send to the suburbs. <laughs> Just gather them up from the spillover. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so you've got um, so it was a very successful breed. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. And uh, you've you've got the cheese you need for the moment, um, but you are starting to run low on water. Well, how Are much you... X, how much XP do we have? Oh, uh, you had three from failures, and how I many... had one last one, so we only have four XP right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, Clep uh, Killhorn, the younger son. Our daughter of uh, of Kid Kelhorn. Uh, I want to tug on on a Rojo shoulder rolls uh, purple jacket. Sir, I believe we need some water. Yeah, hey, how's it going? You're looking kind of good. You want to <laughs> you know, run down to the river with me? Because we can uh, make it happen. Yes, let let us go to let us gather up other kobolds and go to the river. That sounds great. Where is the river? We said it was in somebody else's land. Yeah, so whose land is it in? Uh, Probably the elves. Yes, it's true. There, yeah. There's a river in the orc lands, but you don't want to get washed <laughs> on <it. laughs> Yeah, so I think I think we, we gather up all these like skins, which are probably old kobold skins. Like when you die, we take your skin and turn it into like a little bag. Right? We will honor you by making you a water holder. <laughs> <laughs> we shall drink of your wisdom for all time. <laughs> oh god. What do you think? We've got we've got the skins of uh, Kim and some of the other kobolds that Roho brought back and, and Clep says Sh when shall we leave? Uh, Grandmaster Rojo, you have seen so much of the world. All right, Thistle and uh, and Nip Tuck, we need to we need to get a move on. It's time to go to get water for the tribe. Great. Rojo. Now I, I have the move vision, so I'd like to ask uh, ask our gods for visions uh, to see to see uh, which, which what we should what we should bring for the journey. Totally. Okay, great. So I have a I raised my wisdom to plus zero. Uh, so this move is uh, I commune with the gods on a 10 plus. Uh, I get three holds to kind of use to help us in the future. Uh, on a 7 9, I get one hold, and a 6 minus, our god laughs at our request and grants a hard move to the gym. Uh, yeah, so I'll get out these little, I have these little bones. Uh, they're probably all like kobold finger bones. Okay. Right? Like from, from, we reuse all the. All the parts. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, yeah, waste no, not want on it. Waste, waste not want on exactly. And they have like little markings on them, so I can tell them apart. And I take them and I shake them and, and throw them onto the dirt. And then I spend like five minutes trying to find them in the dirt, <laughs> right? And uh, let's see, it's got effect by me. That's an eight. Cool. So you'll get uh, one. Yes, that's great. So what do I see? Um, so you're uh, who's who is your god? Who's oh, I I believe uh, I believe I would pray to the god of uh, of uh, like a like a fungus god. I like that idea. Like we're in these like caves, right? So there's a a god of fungus that uh that I would that I would pray to. So um, you flash into a vision of a uh, um, you're deep in a in a dark cave and this. Um, uh, all the moss and uh, mold on the uh, uh, and mushrooms on the uh, sides of the cave starts to glow like a bright blue, and it's just blinding. To, it, it grows in intensity and is blinding to you. And uh, <coughs> the voice of your god rushes into your head from these uh, from this light, um, and tells you of your future. Um, and effectively. Uh, well, you'll figure it out once we play, or where you burn your hold, but it's right. exactly what he uh, has told you. Great. So I'll say, it is time to leave now. The great fungus god has, the, the great god of mushrooms and spores has seen fit to bless us on the journey. Yeah. 
Um, so you get, do you guys want to go alone, or do you want to take uh, take some kobolds with you? If so you have more than spillover. Yeah, we have more than enough now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nip Tuck, grab some people from Spillover. Let's do this. Uh, sure. Come, kobolds. We carry our fallen brethren to bring back the water of life. Such is the kobold circle of existence. It's really quite tragic. <laughs> I really think about it. That's why we don't think about it. <laughs> okay. You're right. to think of such things. <laughs> uh, I'm going to roll for recruit. Plus teamwork, so that's a nine. We get one unit of kobolds. Cool. So you'll take one unit of kobolds with you. Um, it'll reduce yep. your population by one for the moment. Um, and you head off into the elven lands, um, which I feel like the elven lands are probably um, a lot of trees, lots of, um, of uh, since they're fanatically elvish, um, I'm sure they live in uh, in like beautiful tree or beautiful tall tree houses, and um, there's gold uh, bridging between the different trees and everything. And um, uh, the the why the river um, that you gather water from runs through the forest, and it's uh, sort of the uh, the lifeblood of this forest. Um, and as you as you are... Uh, oh, does anyone have um, Scout? No? All right, guys. Note, note, you should teach your kids Scout. It's pretty obvious to me that as a village, that's a lack that we have. <laughs> We've never needed Scout before. I have you know it would be helpful. We've never had it. We've no. always lived. We, have, we always come home. We're fine. Yeah. We don't need it. We don't by, need it. By, by we. I, I, you if at it. least one of us comes home, all of us come home. Do you have scouts? Do they keep you coming home? <laughs> Actually, uh, the, the the deaths of, of Lily and Gorwing and your dad pretty much have helped me come home. It was Lily. <laughs> As nice complaining about this um, and talking amongst each other, you stumble into a clearing. Uh, it's it started to, it's um it started to become nighttime, um, and you stumble into a clearing, and there are six um, well healed adventurers um, building a campfire, and they turn around to look at you. Uh, let's there disappear! Are... Disappear! Everybody disappear! Run away! <laughs> there are two heavily armored ones. Um, one of them's wearing robes. One of them is slinking around behind the others. One of them carries a lute, um, and one of them uh, carries a bunch of holy symbols. A bunch of holy symbols? That's yeah, a bunch. He's got like he's got like forty something holy symbols, man. All right, I turn to the one in robes and I say, "Do you understand us, Kumans?" <laughs> he looks at you. And he looks at the others, and he says something in human that you don't understand. Um, and the others look at you, and the uh, the two armored ones uh, start moving Oof. toward your group. Run away. Time Run to, away. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you just running away? Well... Yeah. We would. I, I, we should be clear here. We would. I don't think we want to abandon the water mission, right? I am okay with that. Well, we, we haven't. River. We haven't gotten water, right? So we just need to run away from these guys and circle back to the river some other way. But we have to get away from these guys. Yeah. That's what I'm in for. Yes, uh, I agree. Sure. Okay. So because you're on your bees, um, you have our cobalt um, riders. Allows you always to escape, and without a, without having to make a roll. Um, so you all uh, do. Do we get this, this bill over, guys? They they catch up. Can we flick off those humans on our way out? <laughs> you very well may be able to. Um, so you all you all fly away and try and, and go around to uh, um, to the river from another path. Um, desperately hoping that the those humans don't follow you, or those uh, 
those adventures do not follow your group. Um, as you uh, come into the into the thicker part of the uh, forest, um, you find a uh, um, a, a small um, tributary of the river uh, that it's it, it's plenty of water to get um, to uh, fill up all your jugs, um, but there is a uh, there are four um, elves tending a, a small garden here. Um, no, 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 it's okay. My father told me of these kinds of lands. The elves are, uh, you know, you know, the, you know, the, the Kobold Borgoth, the one that looks in the mirror all the time and can't look away. All the elves are like that. So we just have to sneak up and get the water before they know we're here. But I defer to you, Rojo, if you think that is wise. As, it was, it's as good as any plan I have. Let's go for it. <laughs> hey, Clep, uh, I think you maybe need some blessing before we get into the thick of combat, and it's best if I do it with a massage. So come on over here. This week is the god of bewilderment, Perplexon. Bless her. <laughs> Perplex, I love it. No, it's... You know, it's Perplexon doesn't love you, Clip. Sorry. That's just a fail. It's no blessing for you. Oh, you failed your bless? Yeah, I did yeah. fail. I yeah. Bless. Okay. So, um, one, the village gets an XP. And you're running low on flowers. Oh, that's not good. Um, and as you uh, as you are trying to um, to bless uh, your compatriot, one of the uh, elves stands up and looks over and sees you just kind of milling about in the uh, underbrush, and uh, says something in Elven. And the other two stand up, and the one that it, the one that stood up first pulls out a bow and aims it toward you. What do you do? Uh, Nick Tuck. Um, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, it would probably be a constitutional. Yeah, all right, there we go. That's a good plan. <laughs> um, don't want to just charge them in combat because I'm not as good at that anymore. But, well, you know what? Fuck it. I charge them in combat. <laughs> okay. What are you um, charging them with? So we, are we, we're still on our bees, or are we just in the undergrowth at this point? Uh, yeah, you're just standing around with your bees. Okay, with our bees? Yeah, your bees are hanging out. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've got like uh, a human fork that I've wrapped around the end of a stick with some uh, twine or something, mm -hmm. and I just set that forward in front of me, and I say, um, we will spill your pinkish blood tonight! And I just charge. Okay, do it. Uh, yeah, strength. Eight. Nice. So <laughs> you, uh, which one are you um, charging? Uh, one of the two that are that... Um, uh, or what, the one that pulled the uh, bow, or the other two? The one that pulled the bow, totally. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, you charge him, um, and he, uh, as you you stab into him with your fork, um, he swings, he, he like pulls the arrow back out of the uh, out of the drawstring and smashes you with his bow for a d6, um, and you do a d6. What a jerk! All right, uh, this is for me doing to him. Damn it! Okay, so that's three damage. And this is for him doing to me. Yay! I'm dead! Okay! <laughs> and so uh, you, you see your friend um, hanging from, like, he, his, his hand clenched around the um, little uh, uh, staff that he had attached the fork to, and he's just kind of hanging from the um, elf. And the elf's 
kind of knocking him, knocking or pulling the fork out and, drop, and drops his dead body to the ground. Um, Thistle, what will you do? Hopefully, um, they distracted them. <laughs> I uh, I'm charging that that same elf. Okay. But that's not cool. That's not cool that's at all. Yeah. Totally. Uh, cool. I have the family club, which has served us well. Yeah. I like that. Um, the, the I up. also have the family luck. So we're going to treat this like a seven to nine. <laughs> so, all right. So the village gets a uh, XP. And um, so wait. So you're using you're using luck, right? You're turning that oh, into a seven to nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. Um, so you slam into them. Um, for a d6, and he uh, he loses a arrow at, at close range on you um, for a That's d6. That's a four with slay. Four, nice. And you said d6 for him. And he hits you for um, a d6. Okay. Cool. Clap. I think we should marshal these forces we have with us to uh, distract the elves while we load up the water. So, oh, totally. I, think, so I think I'll, I'll, I'll send them against the elves and then rush to the, rush to the river and start scooping water into my father's dead skin. Okay. Um, so strength to um, fill up one of the... Uh, uh, one of the... Uh, your father's dead skin and hoist it over your back and run it back to the, uh, to the bees. That sounds and, good. Yeah, and you'll have to do that um, four times to get enough water. Okay, and uh, and I think Rojo, are you still here with me? Oh, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. Great. So we can maybe we can alternate while we while we do this. So here's my first roll. Uh, I have a nine. Nine. Cool. So you uh, you grab it and you um, you toss your uh, father's skin over your uh, filled with water over your shoulder. And as you're running back, an arrow hits you for a d6. Only two. Nice. And you get back and you put the um, uh, you put the skin on your uh, or attach it to your bee or your uh, your um, pack sheep. Uh, Rohan. All so right. Yeah, I'm 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 leading by following Klepp's example. Okay. Um, so I'll be I'll be also doing that. That's a strength roll. I have a minus one. Okay. Oh, that would be a that be a seven. Okay. So yeah, you uh, you run over and you fill the uh, obviously not with your father since um, well I guess yeah you did have a yeah red. I've got I've got red skin. Yeah, you got red skin. Um, yeah, I, mean, I got it in Washington. Yeah, okay. Uh, six damage to me. Yeah. Or D six. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hopefully not six. Oh, hold on. I think I'm dead. Oh, man. This guy was so awesome. I have, Bro, I lived for so long. I have tough, which is plus one armor. Yeah, um, so the minus is one damage. Uh, I only have four hit points, so Rojo dies. Okay. No. Uh, the mighty Rojo... We were going to mate. <laughs> the mighty Rojo has fallen. Um, and there is a sack of water laying halfway between the bees and uh, and the river. Um, I go and I weep at his corpse, just the, you know, like that Ewok did in Return of the Jedi, where he pokes it and like doesn't move. <laughs> you didn't weep over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Nick Tuck, you're dead, right? Okay, Thistle, you're still alive, aren't you? Yes, I'm still alive. What will you uh, do? Thistle has cure, so I'm going to lay hands on myself. Okay. <laughs> that seems like a good idea when I have three hit points left. So this is a wisdom roll. I have plus one. Uh, eight, nine. Nine. Okay. Um. <laughs> what is that? Does that heal me and hurt me? I bet it does. Yeah, yeah. You'll uh, Basically, you'll do half of whatever it was you were going to heal up. Okay. So I roll a one. Okay. 
So I heal. <laughs> what is that? I can't heal over my hit points, right? No. no. So I heal three, and then I take two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I really can't. Yeah, okay. That seems like not such a yeah. Okay. And then the kobolds have not really mastered magic. It's not something they're good at. Okay, so you heal yourself. Um, a little. Uh, Clep, what are you doing? I think uh, I I don't know what what. Do you say anything in your final moments, Rojo? Get all the water. It's for you, Rojo. And I grab, I grab the the water, sling it over my back, and then take the other skin so I can carry. I'll try to bravely carry two, right, and, and go get it from the from the the river. Totally. Do it. Strength. Mm -hmm. That is an eight. Nice. Um, so you uh, you run over and you fill the other skin and you're lugging it back and as you do another arrow smashes into you. Or D six. A D six. That's more than my little cobalt body can handle. <clears throat> my clep has passed. Oh no! So, Clap falls uh, with an arrow through the uh, through the eye, um, and he uh, he he falls to the ground. Uh, two water skins on top of him. Uh, Thistle, what will you do? Um. What what does Clep say as he dies? What what are his dying um, words? What are Clep's last words? Oh, um, I think I think it'll be uh. uh I'll just, I'll just be like carrying the water and can We're almost... And, uh, and then that's it. Okay. Um, I actually think... Uh, what, what's the uh, other... What's the unit of uh, kobolds doing? Uh, they are attacking the, um, the other two elves. Um, did you take two units or one? One. One, okay. So... Um, one of them is attacking, uh, or it's attacking one of the elves, um, the other elves, and it is, there's about half of the uh, kobolds left um, from the original tents. So there's maybe about five kobolds that are still alive, and the elf looks damaged, but not terribly, uh, um, not terribly so. I'm, I'm going to go after the elf that, that that I've been going after. Okay. Yeah. Bam! Nice. And you do a d6. Uh, four plus two for slay is six. Nice. So the uh, the elf that was um, shooting arrows falls over um, dead from your mighty blows. That's what you get. That's for Clef and Rojo. Go Thistle. Um... And the uh, the other the one that was or the elf that was fighting um, your kobolds has dispatched the rest of your kobold unit, so all ten are dead at this point. But um, you have uh, he's he's been pretty severely damaged. So is he the only one left, or are there, are there more? I know uh, there's two left still. So. Just run. Yeah, I'm just gonna run away. You guys, there's nobody okay. else left alive. Yeah, nobody yeah, you're the last say that one. I'm a coward. I'm just running. <laughs> just jump on your bee and fly the yes. hell away, right? Yes. All right, so you fly away, um, and unfortunately, you don't complete the want, so you don't get to reset your clock or anything. But you do get back to the village alive, and that's something. Um, and. Uh, yeah, your, your village still needs water, and now you're running lower on flowers, but unfortunately all of your people, or all of your um, adventurers had, or your champions have died, and uh, the village is in turmoil, um, knowing that that they haven't been, they, they still don't have any more water. But uh, 
it's right at eight. So, um, <laughs> Thistle is the last of the uh, champions to survive, and the village will go on even without yeah. you. But um, they will be a little drier. <laughs> we still have eleven cobalt, or like over a hundred over yeah. cobalt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, your village is actually pretty successful. You have um, one hundred and ten cobalts. So, and we didn't spend any of our death holes. So we just got six more experience points. Oh yeah, so you would be um, at. Well, we had six. Eleven right now. Yep. Which is pretty good. Pretty awesome. But that's no country for all cobalts. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was very fun. Yeah, thank you. Now, Steve, if people are interested in uh, No Country for Old Kobolds, where can they pick one up? What's going on with it? So it is kickstarting right now. Um, it's under No Country for Old Kobolds on Kickstarter. And um, we've already passed our funding goal. We're about... Um, we're right around 6000 We We had a $3,500 um, uh, goal. So uh, both... It's going to be a full-color book, um, both soft cover and hard cover available. And um, be, new unit cards will become available with this next stretch goal, which should fund fairly soon. Um, so they can definitely pick them up there. It will also be in some retailers who have picked up. Awesome. Uh, so we will be putting a link to the Kickstarter in the video description of this. And, I mean, if you ever watch this, anybody, um, after... The Kickstarter's over. Still pick it up because it was fun. <laughs> yeah, and I'll have plenty of it. <laughs> uh, all right. So thank you very much, Steve, for running No Country for Old Cobolds. Uh, Cobolds. Cobolds. My goodness. Um, thank you, everyone who watched. Uh, thank you, Rich, Mark, and Jen for playing. Um, anybody who did watch or is watching now, please subscribe. I'm gonna point, and I'm gonna hope it's the right direction. Please push the subscribe button and subscribe to us. Um, we're still hoping to get as many people as possible to subscribe. We're still going to uh, help flesh out an Indie Plus anthology uh, that we're going to release to you soon as a result of our subscription drive. And uh, later tonight, Rich, you're hosting a panel. You want to tell us a little bit about it? I'm hosting a panel called This Game is Too Scary. I'm pretty hyped because we have an all-star cast of panelists who will be talking about horror games since it's October. Spooky, spooky games. So it should be super fun. Fantastic. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks.